co-founder of Stress Records, who's hot on the label at the moment? Uh, well, Freefall, Skydive, and, uh, and Chris and James's new Club for Life 98. Those are the next two things we've got coming out. Uh, but Freefall's like one of our biggest records for a while. We've, we've sort of branched off and done like new new labels. We've done like Related and Sugar Daddy and tried to do various things to suit, suit each individual artist. The market dictates now that you can't just put loads of different right. things out on one label. I think people have to believe and buy into a label. So we had full intention on one side and like bedrock right. on another side and you can't just put them out together. You know? so, so stress is like the more progressive thing and the sugar daddy thing, does the disco thing and related, it's more left field, down tempo stuff. So, right. so that's what we've been trying to do for a few years. Kara, you've been traveling everywhere the last few years with DJing and work, and you plotted up in New York as a part-time resident. Why have you gone over there? Like, I went out there last year and I did like nine gigs mm. and, and like nearly all of them were really, really good. And I just thought, well, why not? You know, go out there for six months and sort of do, do gigs around there rather than over here. And if you bring it down to brass tacks and it's like, shall I do Liverpool, Sheffield, Manchester, Birmingham, or shall I do Las Vegas, Miami, San Francisco? Oh, <laughs> it's like, enough it's saved. Like, uh, all right, I'll do that for a bit. So, so yeah, I'm just doing that for a little while. I'm still going to come over here once every four or five, six weeks. So you're actually living there full time? I'm living in New York and DJing, DJing around the States, yeah. Well, I've got a, a residency once a month in Miami at Shadow Lounge and once a month in, in LA at ICU and Spun Day in San Francisco and Buzz in Washington and then the other weekends I'm sort of doing Las Vegas and a few things in Canada. What are you doing? What are you working on? Um, well we've just done a few remixes. We haven't done any for a, for a little while but um, we've just done Garbage, Special and BT, Godspeed. Uh, D-Note, Garden of Earthly Delights, just done Alanis Morissette, Uninvited. Just sort of getting back into remixing. What about songwriting? Uh, yeah, we've, there's a girl from, from Ireland called Nat Leonard, who's, uh, she's only 18, she's got the voice of an angel, and um, yeah, we're, we're sort of writing some stuff with her at the moment, like working on an album, so that's quite exciting. On a scale of incredible, good, average or pup, how would you describe the gallery? The gallery's pretty damn good on a good He's night. He's going to say that very, because Danny's standing in the a, background. On a good night, it is incredible. What do you get up to when you go out of Robbie Williams? <laughs> no, that Look was at him that, hanging out with the stars. That was a long time ago. I was uh, I did go out for a kebab once with Robbie. And over here, you live next door to Mel B. I am living next door to, to Mel B in England when I'm back here, though she's just moved up the road. So do you pop in for a cup of tea? When the wedding was on, we tried to gate crash it, and um, so you weren't invited, no, neighbours. Uh, I mean, you know what I mean. I'm from Leeds. She's from Leeds. She comes down into my little little sleepy Buckinghamshire village. <laughs> And then and that doesn't invite me. So we thought we'd gatecrash it. 